What is up guys, welcome back to another episode. Today is June 9th, 10th, 10th, 2000, yeah, June 10th, 2017. Officially five days before I get out of school to go to summer. Um, today we're gonna do a catch and cook of some sort. I originally wanted to do trout or big bluegill or something like that, um, but I think I might actually target bullhead. Um, there's a lot of rain today, so I'm thinking they're gonna be fired up. Uh, sorry if you can't hear me because the dam is pretty loud. Um, Hopefully bullhead tastes good. Hopefully if I catch one, they're not infect infected with tons of mercury here. They shouldn't be, but um, I'm on pr only probably going to keep one just because if it is filled with mercury or if it does taste like crap, then uh, um, then I won't have wasted fish. You know what I mean? So um, let's catch fish. Let's see what I can do. Let's see what I can put on the stringer. We're going to do a catch and cook today no matter what I catch, even if I've already done it before. So let's go. Got one, boys. We got one. Ugh. Please don't spy me. Please don't spy me. Perfect eating size, I believe so. Look at that thing. Look how happy he is. Oh, please take me home, please take me home. Alright guys, so, I got three, alright guys, so this is the end of the day. Um, I got three bluegill, one of them is actually a pumpkin seed bluegill hybrid. We got a brook trout that unfortunately swallowed the hook and died. We got two bullheads, the two bullheads are for this catch and cook. The other ones I just want to eat. I'm not normally a bucket fisherman, I never normally keep this many fish, but, um, you know, it's nice to have something in the freezer, so. Alright guys, we're back in the house, and unfortunately, I did not film the flaying for these bullheads because I've never flayed a bullhead before, so I didn't want to film myself absolutely butchering it just in case. Um, so I just actually kept the camera off for that. I didn't do that bad of a job. Probably could have done better, but it was my first time. Catfish are pretty difficult to flay, um, at least for first-time people. So, you know, I did what I could. I actually got a decent amount of meat. Um, oh, uh, spilling spill a little bit, but I soaked the, um, the four fillets in milk overnight and, uh, just get, firm it up, get the fishiness out if there's any. Hopefully this meat isn't infected with, like, heavy PCBs or lead or anything else. Hopefully not. I heard bullheads are pretty clean compared to other species, so, um, that's good. There's no advisors on Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission, so that's also a plus. Um, I'm gonna do the same fry for this that I normally do. I'm just gonna take a bunch of breadcrumbs. Boy, we got some of that Louisiana fish fry crispy stuff that you see in like everybody's videos. It's it's amazing. It's so good. I really recommend it. Um, we're just gonna dip the fish in there, stick it in the pan um, with a little with oil just about halfway up. I'm gonna do a little bit of a half kind of deep fry on it, so it's gonna be delicious. Alrighty then, let's take this stuff out. Probably yeah, we're gonna have to wash it off again. But um, there's the first fly. I did butcher that. Missed about half. I mean, actually, no, they're, they're about the, around the same size. There's a lot of fat on this meat, which makes me concerned about heavy metals and PCBs, because every time you see, like, that white stuff, that's fat, and that's where the PCBs and stuff sit. All right, that's it. And they did have quite a bit bigger of a bloodline than I imagined, and this meat doesn't feel like normal meat. It's really firm, and it's really squishy. Like, it's, like, firm but squishy. It's, like, weird. It's, like, rubber. Um, but I bet it's going to taste good. It's going to be fantastic for a fry because um, firm stuff like this, it's going to taste like chicken. It's going to be amazing, hopefully. See, we got ourselves some of those Louisiana fish fry products. Seasoned and crispy fish fry. It's going to be amazing. I already had some of it. It's delicious. So we're just going to fill this up. A little more. A little bit more. Is that good? Is that going to be good? Nah. Uh, 
that's good. Gotta get them out in there. Just gonna take these fillets, just gonna take each of them, and just, mm, yes, that's what I like to see. Just gonna roll it around in there, move it around, make sure it gets in all the cracks and crevices. Looks great. Let me just get a little bit more in there. Oh, yes. Beautiful. I'm just gonna do that four times. Won't show it all. There's another one. Again, sorry for the lighting, guys, but four beautiful looking flays. I'm gonna just rub that over a little bit more. That's gonna go in the pan well. I can already tell. It's gonna look absolutely perfect. So next we're just gonna turn on the pan real quick. Oh yes. I'm gonna turn that to like a six, actually a seven. I'm just gonna heat that pan up a little bit and pour some oil on. Now I like, I like to use a Crisco pure canola oil. Um, great stuff for frying. Not too unhealthy for you, so that's a plus. I like to pour just enough to cover the bottom. Again, we only have like, all right guys, it's just about ready. So let's uh, drop them in. Oh yes. Gonna leave them in for about three to four minutes aside because these catfish fillets are pretty thick. So that looks great. Tell me that doesn't look beautiful. Is that a flippy? Got really stuck at this. Hey! Okay, just about done. Perfect. Alright guys, we got our beautiful catfish here. Again, the lighting is trash, but as you can see, it's just like chicken nuggets or fish sticks. It looks amazing. It doesn't even look... It's just golden brown. It's beautiful. It's probably going to taste delicious. Hopefully we don't die from this. Get some kind of lead poisoning or PCB poisoning, other kind of stuff, but it looks great, so... Okay, let's test this out here. good has a much different taste of anything I, any kind of fish that I've ever eaten could be the toxic lead you know but it tastes pretty good it's kind of like blue runner it's like a it's like a firmer grayer meat but it's good it's good would I recommend yes Next time you're out there and you catch a bullhead and you're like, oh man, what's this trash fish I just caught? Maybe try taking it home because it tastes pretty good. Tastes just like chicken. All right, guys, as you just saw, that bullhead was pretty dang good. Not um, I definitely recommend trying it. If you're out there and you catch a bullhead um, and you're looking for something to eat, definitely take it home. It's good stuff. I'm sure you guys have seen other catching cooks online with it. Um, it was definitely fun doing it. Never thought that I would be eating bullhead. I knew they were good, but just never wanted to try it. Just make sure if you do keep them, they're not infected with any PCBs, um, like lead or mercury or other stuff like that. So just be careful. Check your fish advisories for your gaming commission for your state, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this catch and cook. If you want to see more, make sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. Um, that really helps. Let's me know what I want to do in the future. Um, maybe we'll do another one in the future with like channel catfish or blue catfish. We'll see. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and see you guys later.